what's good so today i'm going to show you guys how to add vocal presets to adobe audition i feel like this video is a little bit overdue i should have done this a few months ago but better late than never so as i'm sure most of you know i have this awesome website where i sell vocal presets it's kelly.com where you can purchase vocal presets shop now we have 12 different vocal presets we have hip-hop presets pop presets r b presets lots of awesome presets now let's say we want to purchase one of these presets and add it to uh our adobe audition view cart you can use credit card debit or paypal we're going to use our debit card then after you place your order you will see your order number the total of your order and your download link right here on the screen you should also get an email I'm going to blur my information, but you also have your download right in your email along with your receipt and some uh, contact information if you have any questions. And then we're going to click our preset. Double click the preset and it will open Adobe Audition along with the preset. Boom. Here's your preset. Also, once you guys have opened the preset already, you got to got to open the preset first. Another way to open the template is Go to file, go to new, multi-track session, and you'll see template right here. Click none, and then choose the template. What's popping preset? But it's only gonna show up right here once you've opened it. Now you will see track one, you'll have a place for your instrumental. Then I have on this preset particularly, on most of these presets, I have two tracks for the verses so you guys can punch in go back and forth and then we have our ad lib track for some background vocals now you guys will see on the side of the verses and the ad lib track we have our effects on the left side and that is your preset now if you go to mixer you will also see the effects right here as well along with your eq and if you go to the bottom we have a master track with a mastering effect on it and this mastering effect is affecting everything the beat and the vocals now i'm not doing too much with this we just have a little bit of eq we have some saturation and we have a compressor and then we have the output gain at three which is just turning everything up now on this particular preset on track five we have no effects it's just a basic rap template so there's not too much to it there's some verse stuff and some ad libs then our track five there's nothing on it but say you want to add effects to track five. You guys can save the preset on the side. So if you hit this down arrow right here, you can name the preset whatever you want. Say we want to name it like, don't mind these dashes. I'm just putting them there to bring the preset to the top because I have a bunch of presets. So say you want to name it like rap preset. Boom. And if you click this down arrow right here where it says presets, you will see a bunch of different presets and there it is right there rap preset now say you want to add that preset to a different track like track five where there is no preset go up to presets right here click this little box and you will see rap preset boom and now you added the preset to track five so you guys don't have to open the template every single time you could if you want to like then you have the whole template start recording but if you also want to save the preset you can do that. And you can also do the same thing with the EQ. If you go to your EQ, where it says mixer, click this little pencil. You can hit, you can just hit this little down arrow, save your EQ, wrap preset EQ, and you save the EQ as well. So you guys can either start a brand new session, hip hop session, And then add the preset, boom, add another preset, boom. Then you have the presets right there. Or you can just open the template. And you have your preset. Now some of these presets have like auto-tune, some of these presets don't. Like this what's popping preset. This what's popping preset, it's like a rap preset, it has no auto-tune. But say I want to add like auto-tune to it. All you'd have to do is just click this arrow, go down here, add auto-tune, and now you have some auto-tune on the preset. 
but I wouldn't put the auto tune as the last effect. I like to put it after my compressors, besides the multi band compressor, because that's also a limiter. I've noticed when you put the auto tune before the compressors, sometimes it gives you like some static key effects. That's probably the best way to do it is tune your vocals, then compress them. But it doesn't really make that big of a difference, like tone wise, when you put the auto tune after the compressors. It also helps the program, it doesn't give you like a bunch of static. But you can also add effects to the preset add some echo if you want you could also adjust the preset like say there's too much reverb you can go down here and play with the reverbs on this particular preset there's not too much reverb because it's a rap preset say i wanted to turn the reverb up just take the wetness knob and crank the wetness knob and that'll give you lots more reverb or just turn it down that'll give you less reverb but uh yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to show you guys how to add these presets to your session I've had some people a little bit confused about it, so I felt like I should make this video to inform you guys. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're trying to drop new videos every single week. I'm going to try to stay on that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Peace. I'm talking, I'm focused on the profit, young profit, put my time into the process, what's poppin'?